real world with the financial world, right? So we need to understand the interlinkages linkages in global markets, which we will start with physical markets. People buy, people sell things, services, and then interlink it to financial markets, how companies produce those and what do they need to do to produce those. What should we do? What is our purpose in the company? Is it to maximize shareholder wealth? Is it to please the customers? Is it to please the workers? Is it there are all kinds of goals and in various cultures, various goals are more or less important. So that's important, it's a cultural issue, but it's very much in the news, especially in the US and in Europe. The differences between various European countries in the goals of the firm. And obviously, in many developing markets, it becomes more and more important to understand those issues. You hear a lot about the market cap of a company. The market cap is simply each company has a number of shares, right? And let's say the price today on the market is a certain price. The market cap of the company is the price of the share times the number of shares. So if I, I'm IBM, I have 100 million shares outstanding, and each share is worth $100, let's say $1,000, just to make it easy. So 100 million shares times $1,000 give you $100 billion. That's a market capitalization of IBM, $100 billion.